it now. Rhoda. Which turns the full mast. So you get easy square rigger control with one servo.
I see hermaphrodite brig brigantine, Edith Ann. I'll just go over the controls for you. I'm going to date myself now. You know, JR PCM 9X2. Ooh. Must be 20 years old now. But in its day, an excellent nine channel receiver, programmable transmitter. But basically, rudder. What I do normally, I adjust the servo speed, which you can do on the, on the transmitter to slow it down so it's not quite as jerky. And then on the auxiliary channel, we control the front mast. Now the front mast, rather than control each individual part of the sail, I thought it would be a lot easier to turn the whole mast. And this is achieved by a high torque servo, which turns the full mast. So you get easy square rigger control with one servo. The rudder, simple rudder control. basic and I have included a motor and a propeller just in case there's no wind you can still use the boat but that's controlled with the throttle as usual but generally you just use the rudder and the auxiliary slider centered so You can see that servo slowed down. Just to make it look a little bit more realistic. The boat construction, as you can see, is, is foam, foam cord. With fiberglass outside. You can plank on frame it and the plans on the website are for the plank on frame version. This was just hand sculpted from, from foam and then fiberglass. This at the bottom is a piece of steel. Uh, I'll get you a series of magnets here. That is actually a piece of steel. Just to give some ballast at the bottom. Stop it tipping over because it will tip over in in anything like a breeze it will just tip straight over so you need a serious amount of balance ballast on the bottom and of course these uh, covers go on battery compartment receiver compartment on. There we are. Now you can see uh, there's a hole and some aluminium tubing which comes out at the front there. That was originally for a, a control but it didn't really work that well with the square rigged front it was pretty redundant so I just removed it it just wasn't worth having the additional control so quick insight again this is just 
tethered so when it catches the wind it will just blow out and stop and the same with tethered and they're all tethered and fixed so the, the majority of the uh, steering is done with the the foremast with the square rig.